All right, this is gonna be a very quick video to teach you how to make a water rocket that looks something like you see here. These are the rockets that we make out of two, out of two plastic bottles and they go on top of rocket launchers that we already have and that we've already made. So if you're making this to come to our event, don't worry, you don't need the rocket launcher, we'll take care of that. One thing to note about the bottles that you're gonna need, we're using half inch PVC. So what that means, don't get confused by this, but I wanna make sure it's clear. When you say half inch PVC, that's referring basically to the inside hole of the PVC. As you can see, it's almost half an inch wide. The size of the pipe itself is almost a full inch wide. Virtually every soda bottle that we found is about one inch wide, and that will fit over the post. Just be sure you're in this range. If for some reason you end up with a bottle that's too big or way too small, it's not gonna fit on the launcher. So let's go over the things that you need first. Um, I'm gonna do this in a couple phases. I'm gonna show you that there's some basic ways to do this and then there's more complicated things you can do to make them go further. Uh, at a bare minimum, you need at least two two liter bottles or two one liter bottles. Now the reality is this one bottle by itself, if you put it on the rocket launcher, it would launch. So I'm going to show you now how to take the basic bottles, how to build it into a rocket that ultimately will look something like this. Um, first thing you're going to need is the two bottles. You're going to need some sort of tape or duct tape. You're going to want some cutting devices, either an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. A Sharpie so you can write on it. These don't have to be exact lines, just get close. Um, a manila folder, a cardboard. Some sort of weights. We've been using golf balls or a tennis ball for weight. Take one of your bottles. Do notice, this is important, these have to be carbonated beverages. The reason they have to be carbonated is because these can handle the pressure of a carbonated beverage, so they're gonna be able to handle the pressure on that. If you use something that's not carbonated, it risks it blowing up. You're gonna take one of the bottles and you're gonna draw a line around that bottle. Um, it doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle. But basically, I've tried to do it around here in the middle somewhere. Take your Sharpie, draw a line around it. Once you have the line, take an X-Acto knife, cut a hole along that line, get it started. And if you have to, you can take scissors from there and cut it all the way around until you're done. These don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be straight. It's not going to matter. Once you've cut it, you basically have already created most of the rocket. The full bottle goes at the bottom. This is the bottle that's gonna hold half with water. This is the part that's gonna be shooting the rocket up. This is really just acting as a nose cone. You're gonna take it and jam it down on top. Don't worry if it bends the bottle a little bit. Push it on there. Try to get it as straight as you can. It's not going to matter. Just try to have it on there somewhere straight and take some of your duct tape or masking tape, or in this case, strapping tape that has the strings that'll help it hold, and tape it around. There's nothing fancy about this. At this point, you now have an even better rocket. It will launch just like this. Um, to take it to the next step, if you wanna add a nose cone or add fins, that's gonna help it fly even better. The other thing you can do is add weight. If you plan on adding weight, now is the time to put it in. What you do, just take this off, take either your tennis ball or your golf ball, stick it inside, put it on top, and start pushing this down and get it as far down there as you can. And I would continue to push it until it holds that golf ball in place. Then tape it down. What we've been doing to help make this a little bit more aerodynamic than just a plastic lid on the top is you can make a nose cone using either something like the manila folder it's very easy. Cut the manila folder, and this could be anything that's got some sort of stability to it. Take it, bring the corners, bring it together, run a piece of tape across it, and you have a nose cone. All you need to do now is draw around it and cut that part of the nose cone off so it looks something like this. Once I make the nose cone, I've been taking tape and running some tape over it just to help give it a little bit more stability. But the reality is, this thing is gonna launch up. When it comes down, it's going to crash. It's going to get bent. If you look at the tips of these rockets, they've all gotten bent up. They still fly, it doesn't matter. Um, if you want something that's sturdier than just a manila folder with tape, 
You can also take what's left of the bottom of the bottle that you had when you cut the top off, cut another strip and take a piece of the bottle itself. It's harder to work with, but you can do the exact same thing. Take the corners, bring it down. It's a little harder to pinch together, run tape across it, and now you have a nose cone made out of the plastic. You would cut it around this way so you have that nose cone, and you put that there on the top of the bottle. All right, next thing you need, now you've got the bottles, you'll have your nose cone on it, you can tape it down, hold it into place. Now you need to get some fins. Anything that's sturdy, don't use just plain paper. We've been using cardboard, it works just fine. Typically what I do is I take a strip of cardboard. The measurements don't matter, but just make sure each of the fins are the same side size. I usually take a piece of cardboard, I draw some lines, draw diagonal lines. Now you've got two fins. Cut those out and you'll end up with fins that look like this. The whole key here is that they're about the same size. The size of the fins aren't going to matter. Take those. Because it's cardboard, I cover it in some sort of tape because it, it, we are going to be using water, they'll get wet. It helps for a little bit of stability. Remember, you're only going to launch these things a few times and once they're done, they're done. So wrap some tape on it, you're going to take these fins and you're literally just going to come down here somewhere near the bottom and tape them on. Remember, the full bottle has to be the one at the bottom. You'll just tape them onto the sides. Once you've taped them on, there's no fancy way to have to do it. You can see here, we just took regular duct tape and stuck it on and we put three fins on. If it's slightly off, it's not going to make a huge difference. Yes, it's rocket science, but if you want the real rocket science behind these things, there are other videos that'll teach you how to make the biggest, best rockets. I promise you a rocket just like this, that has your two bottles, a nose cone, taped on with some weight and three fins, they're going to fly. They'll go 200 feet in the air. They'll go 200 feet in distance. These things will launch. Please don't overthink it. Don't spend too much time on this. It's, you're going to launch this two or three times and it's done. If you do this, it's going to work out great. If you have questions and you're friends of ours, give us a call before the event. We're happy to help you out. Thanks a lot. We'll see you at the event.